Hello. Um, I'm trying one with uh, my webcam, so we'll see how that works out. Um, what I wanted to talk about was I was going to make a video with uh, good advice for dealing with mental disorders in general. Um, the reason why I'm making that is because I've been getting a lot of questions again, and uh, well, I don't feel like I can adequately answer most of them in a comment, so I'm doing this instead. Just gonna start with this beginning here. Uh, staying healthy, as healthy as possible. Uh, eating, eating healthy. Uh, fish oil tablets, for instance, for supplements. Just have a real, well-rounded, um, you know, way of eating. Some people have actually been completely cured of mental illness just from that. So that's a good idea. Uh, second one: don't get overly stressed. Try to take it easy. Um, the reason for that is, I, at least in my personal experience, I tend to get relapses when uh, when I get too stressed out, when I have too much to do, and I tend to think I'm able to do more than I actually am. So, um, yeah, uh, don't 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 overdo it, uh, but don't let yourself stagnate either. Don't get too uh, don't get don't start doing nothing because you're scared of a relapse. That's not the way to go either. Uh, take small steps, and you should be proud of every one of them because uh, it's it's tough. It's tough uh, for many people, much tougher than it is for me probably. Uh, and and I'm having a tough enough time as it is. So so be proud of the of the advances you do make. It's it's a good thing. Um, talk to the people around you. Yeah, uh, if you have friends, if you have family, any sort of a network, you. You will want to keep that up to date. You will you will want to keep in contact with them because that can be a great support uh, with a whole bunch of stuff, not necessarily directly related to a, a mental illness, but stuff like just being able to have a place to live, have, being able to have someone to talk to who's not uh, some sort of someone who's paid to talk to you, uh, that sort of thing. Just it it. It gives you a really nice, a really nice platform to start off from. Um, so try to keep up with your friends and such, uh, and and don't be embarrassed about about your mental illness because it's 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 like any other illness. It's just something that you have that you can get rid of uh, if you work on it. So uh, it might be a bit harder to work on than so many other things, but you can do it. So. There's no reason that other people shouldn't see that. So don't be don't be embarrassed of it, uh, and uh, try to be introspective. Try to recognize your symptoms and uh, recognize when they happen. Uh, try it's called coping to, coping strategies, I think they call it. But basically, try to find ways that they won't that that you can make them not affect your life as much. Um, it can be evasive, like if, if you if you hallucinate every time you go to a specific place, just avoiding that place for a start. But it it can be all sorts of stuff, and you have to find out what works for you. Uh, what works for me, uh, or worked for me when I did have my hallucinations, was that I would I would uh, try to figure out what ex if, if 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 I heard a noise, for example, I would logically th start thinking like, okay, what was that noise like? It was like this. Uh, where did it come from? It came from over there. Is there anything over there that would make a noise like that? No. Um, and sometimes that would actually clear out clear out the noises completely. Uh, other times I'd have to go and check it, and when there's nothing there, they're gone. Um, that's not the sort of thing that I would want to do, though, because that's still responding to it. And again, just it's individual. Just come up with um, whatever works for you to get away from from your symptoms and back in the real world basically. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to say is don't give up on yourself because uh, a lot of people get cured of mental illness and the, and the biggest obstacle I think is the fact that there's a, this perception that once you've been diagnosed with something you're gonna have it forever uh, which is not uh, even remotely true necessarily. I mean you can be stuck with it forever but most people aren't. So just just don't give up on yourself basically that's um that's about it for me uh hope 
that I cleared up some stuff and hope this even works. See ya.